Blessings everyone, this is Tefni Light. As you can see, the light has been fully turned on, which is amazing. And I feel like that's a confirmation for all of us on this interesting journey of awakening and union. And we are at 2 a.m. right now on the time zone of the UK. It is the 10th of February. 2019. I hope you all are doing really well. I hope you had a beautiful new moon in Aquarius and the Chinese New Year of the Golden Pig, I'm calling it. So we're in this interesting energy right now. There is a lot going on. There's a lot of extension energies coming up and there's just this illumination happening as you can see, but it's also the internal illumination illumination of something really big coming through and that is of our divine magic of love unity consciousness and unions and the divine feminine the divine masculine really taking the next step on the journey together in this mission in this union and this holy union as i call myself the holy union.com and really stepping into our power of light right now. So really embrace that illumination of love and union of consciousness of the earth, literally shifting big time. Um, I've been feeling this energy between these interesting waves of like full on everything's amazing and great and then these really deep moments of really big transformation so now that we're stepping into our light and we're activating and elevating each other right here right now in this divine feminine divine masculine reading we're taking those steps of illumination and light to transcend our union to the next level to transcend our extension to the next level to it extend our empowerment on this planet of why we came here and what we're here to do what we're here to share and these amazing divine gifts of light just coming through right now at this time so i invite you to truly step into your power your love your light right now and we're going to do this very powerful amazing divine feminine divine masculine reading in a different space than the bedroom but maybe that was called in to speak the light of all of us right now so thank you very much for your support and your love and sessions are available at this time go check out the link let's get into the reading illumination embrace the love i'm going to talk about the energies that are the shadow and the light right now we have Two decks we're using in this reading. We're using the heart chakra deck, I call it, which is actually, I think, the heart, the heart, the heart tarot. Yeah. And then we're using the the art of love tarot. So, which is mostly focused on trees. The shadow aspect is the control aspect, which is a divine masculine energy force. In many aspects, because control is a is a it's a, it's a balance. The control is being let go of, and as we're stepping into our flow, we're going to see the light of the innocence coming through. So we're letting go of the armor as we speak. That's the control aspect, the protection aspect of we need to protect ourselves. We're coming into the illumination of the heart. We're coming into the illumination of innocence and this light is just full on tonight. I'm so grateful for that illumination. Innocence of the heart, which the divine feminine, I believe, is leading us into. So as we're stepping into these waves of extension, as we're stepping into the fifth dimension of love, literally, and into our truth, into our calling, into our purpose, realizing we are manifestors of divine love. We are manifestors of abundance. We are manifestors of a reality. We are creating and co-creating our reality of heaven on earth right now. 
So in this moment, are you going to choose love or are you going to choose the opposite? And that is our, literally our guiding mechanism right now of where we're headed. And we're trusting the path, we're trusting this unity, we're trusting God, we're trusting us as goddesses, we're trusting our truth of light. Because the, the card that is actually uniting the twins is the seek the truth. It's like there's this illumination of seeking the truth. For the Divine Feminine, this is what I posted the other day, and this is what in, is in today's reading, is the Two of Hearts. We have union. So the Divine Feminine is really feeling this union consciousness energy of holding love in a space of creating in the physical. For the Divine Masculine, we have taking the lead, number three, it's about holding the flame of union, holding the flame of love, of creation, right? Creating action. So there's these two energies going on between love and action. And three, we have the number three here, which is the Trinity, which is the Holy Spirit coming down. We could see this as the Holy Spirit right now blessing us. We have this holy divine energy coming through in our empowerment, in our union, in our mission, in our purpose, in our drive, in our life force, in our creation that is coming through of illumination. And there's illumination of love and union and this is this pink heart energy because we are in the month of love. It is a creational aspect of, you know, a holiday but we're here to celebrate this love every single day. No matter what month it is, no matter what time it is, no matter what season, what continent you are on or not on, what planet you are on, you know, if you're female or male, it's all a, a oneness creation of union. And union is seeing that everything is connected and that we are creating with our divine masculine and they are creating with us our Divine Masculine is creating with us as we are creating with them, which is the union, which is more trust and more love and more fulfillment, more abundance, more of everything, and knowing that we are worthy of that and only that, and we are only love. And that's why we came here to do this work. So a very powerful energy between the two, which are united always as one. And I want to say this that we have both aspects within us. We have both divine feminine and divine masculine. The divine feminine has that and the divine masculine has that. We are creating it one energy. But there is always an energy that is blessing us, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the Trinity. That's why there's three aspects, but it creates one energy. And when you see the twins as one energy, that is actually union itself. And union is then created in the physical when this aspect comes through from these two beautiful beings that are twin flames here on this planet. And that's why we see the curtains being opened, right? That there is, it is one energy. It is one energy and the energy we're walking through right now is one energy because we're getting ready for February 11th, which is another activation acceleration energy on the ascension and union path. So here we have this energy of seeing, we're opening up the curtains of the stage or the stage we've been on playing this game where we're like opening it up to shine and rise with divine goddess and God, which is creating the union and the trinity is always here and the infinity within the twins together. So they're really stepping in to the truth that the union is here, it is being born, it's being created. It's like, it's about seeking the truth, taking the lead, being the union, embracing the love, coming together, sharing the love. There's many interesting aspects that we have here going on on a collective scale for the twins in a conscious level. This is the conscious collective of the twin flames right now. So this is the energy we're all feeling. 
for the divine feminine, we have this observance. So she's the divine feminine is observing the divine masculine, but within the divine masculine, you will also see feminine attributes and characteristics because I truly believe as twin flames, we carry both aspects. So if we see our twin flame in front of us, we're going to see feminine characteristics in their face or their expression. They might even see characteristics or expressions that are masculine within their feminine. So it's really the observance that we are all creating this together. This face is both feminine and masculine. So the feminine energy is observing the masculine energy. It's very interesting because on the masculine aspect, this is all a union right here, unity energy of the of the union. On the masculine aspect, we see this illumination. So we have the observance and the illumination. It's like the divine masculine is illuminating the divine feminine, okay? As the divine feminine is holding the love for both, which is one they're creating. It's the observance that is creating the illumination behold to the divine feminine. And as the divine feminine is observing the divine masculine, the divine masculine is illuminating the divine feminine. I know very interesting here. So as this embrace is happening, right? There is the embrace of the heart chakra within the rising of the divine masculine on the planet globally universally so as the divine feminine is observing the divine masculine the divine masculine is observing the divine feminine but he the energy of mass of the divine masculine is illuminating the feminine and the divine energy of masculine within the union is embracing the love within the world globally as we are rising as divine twins. It's like this rebirth energy that's coming through right now. Like, as you can see, this light is very, very bright. So the feminine is seeking the truth, right? The curtains opened. The masculine energy within the union is embracing the heart. So we have seeking and we have embracing, we have observing, we have loving, we have illuminating. There's a lot of energy that is coming together right now in this divine dance of union. And as we come deeper into this aspect, so we have the union, we have the illuminator, the illuminator, which is the divine feminine. She's illuminating herself to the divine masculine for the divine masculine to take the lead in the creational aspect of the physical. The divine feminine is, is feeling and observing to create with the energy of the physicality. So there's this dance going on between the two, which is really interesting. And both the divine feminine and the divine masculine are both doing very similar things because they're creating one energy together here on the planet because that's kind of the part of the mission to create wholeness, one, unity, consciousness, peace, and love on the planet to create the union because the union can only exist when the energy within both of them is a balanced, harmonious vibration inside and outside. So within the divine feminine, there is a coming together and the divine masculine is holding this energy because the divine masculine is offering the love. He is sharing the love. He is spreading the love. So we have the coming together and the giving and receiving of love, which is amazing. And I want to look at it like this because it's going towards this card. And the divine masculine is holding and embracing the divine feminine. And as you can see here on the top within the divine feminine attribute, we have the divine feminine loving and embracing the union. And then correlating this way, we have the, the offering of love right there. So the two pieces becoming one heart. And here we have the divine feminine receiving the love and this pearl of their love and union being found within the ocean of the earth, okay? 
And what's grounding this energy is the union, which is the lovers. Super beautiful. And there we have that illumination, which I was talking about. It's like the illumination of the Trinity, the illumination of Holy Spirit within the union coming through within this energy. If we look at it right here, coming through. So we are working here with Divine Spirit, and Divine Spirit is giving us illumination of love, illumination of union. Truly beautiful. As we're letting go of control and bringing in more flow, we have the innocence of heart energy, which is beautiful. And those are the themes right now that are going on between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, the innocence of love and the release of control and the old way of being and coming more into flow. Within the energies that are surrounding the divine feminine and the divine masculine, we have some interesting things going on. So let's start here. The Divine Feminine has the Ace of Hearts, which is the Ace of Cups, which is the opening of this, the Sacred Heart, which is the union, the flame, the wings that are opening up really beautifully, and that really beautiful light is coming through on that card again. In the Divine Masculine aspect, so that is the Ace of Cups, we have the Star, which is hope. We again have these wings of illumination, absolutely beautiful and we have the hearts coming together see the two hearts creating one and that is one star which is their soul okay within the divine feminine we have her right the divine feminine rising whether she be masculine or feminine in terms of gender rising which is the fool card but to me it's a rebirth of illumination of rebirth starting the journey of this beautiful energy of rebirth of the feminine on the planet energetically. The rising, the moving forward, the rainbow essence, the lunar energy, which is stunning. It's called the initiation. So she's being, the divine feminine is being initiated into this love energy that is being born here now on the planet on a very beautiful scale of fifth dimension. The divine masculine energy is holding romance. We have the knight of hearts, the seeing, the two eyes, which is four eyes there because we have two eyes on the wings, which is both twins. This and the universe holding the love. This is romance. So we have love, initiation, romance. So beautiful. The divine feminine is the awakening which is the emergence so she's awakening to the next step so we have this love energy this initiation and the next level of awakening we have the waters of love and we have the high consciousness coming through from the divine feminine because we have her face right here the face of the feminine being awakened within spirit and water the divine masculine we have dreamer with the page of trees and walking through this illumination energy which is happening tomorrow on the 11th of February. So we have awakening and the dreamer, the dreamer awakening to the dream, the divine masculine coming through and forward of initiation and love, the divine feminine initiating to the next level of awakening which is the union because we have the ankh here if you see that they're waking up together to the dream of love. So as you can see, there's this amazing dance going on right now in this energy vibration within the collective twin flames. So just really taking this light of creation, this light of illumination, this light of being in union and love, heaven on earth at this time. So I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings. Namaste. If you feel called to connect or receive a session, the link is below. I send you lots of love. And this union energy of extension is going to the next level. And we're just rising in this divinity of creation of heaven on earth. Much love to everyone. From me to you and to your union. 
I'm the holy union.com. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day.